All right. So this is an interesting question. <laughs> this person is asking. Confessing. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do to stay kind to each other? Because yeah. life has gotten so busy and it just feels like we get home and we got to get this and you get the kids that and, and we're, you know. We've lost our yes. spiritual margin. Like we just don't <laughs> yeah. have room in our soul to stay kind and tender with each other. Right. We're impatient. We're moving at too fast a clip. And so it becomes like a, a management relationship. Did yeah. you get that done? Because you got to get that done before we go blah, 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 right? And, and where's the kindness? Always that, running right? behind. Here's the thing. I mean, it sounds very paradoxical, but when you catch yourself in that, if you can be playful at all, if you right. can make fun of the intensity that's happening and you can acknowledge, wow, we're moving at the speed of life and we're running over each other in yeah. the process, you're becoming aware of it and you're acknowledging how it might right. feel. That literally transforms that moment. Yeah, we live in an, in an apartment complex, and so we have to ride an elevator down to uh, wherever we go. <laughs> and so we have this little phrase uh, that just happened, but it started very serious uh, for me because yeah. I I live with urgency. I want to get the task done. Yep. And so uh, I would always say, "Get the elevator! Get the elevator!" Like like I'm gonna go get my keys. You and need that door open yeah. and waiting for you <laughs> exactly. before you're in that yeah. elevator. Yeah. And, and so we just made it a funny, <laughs> goofy inside yeah. joke for us. It's just get the elevator means a lot of things for yeah. us, but it, it's expressing my weirdness about having to intensely use our time well. Well, I'm glad you said that because not only is it is it that life is fast paced, but we can have fast paced personalities and not yes. everybody tracks the same. So acknowledging that we even have differences right. in our rate of speed and how we live. Can yes, help. because yeah. I, I want to kind of get the task done and then go, yep. oh, now I'll be kind. Like yeah. I, my anxiety is gone. I can be fully present and I'm, I'm so loving right now, right? And I may not care anymore because <laughs> I might not want to hang <laughs> right. out with you if you weren't kind before. But it yeah. does help to acknowledge <laughs> Acknowledge your personality differences right. in this whole uh, process because the kindness fact, it's so important. Kindness is so, so, so important. You don't want to lose step with that and acknowledging it with humor. Yes. And also some self-reflection on yep. just the, the awareness, you know, that, oh yeah, I can come through as not very kind in these certain moments. As right? soon as it occurs to you, you can course correct and you can do it playfully or you can do it just sincerely. Right. And that helps. Yeah. And sometimes uh, I'll acknowledge, man, <laughs> like even in the moment, like we're getting in the car and I'm like, get in, you know, or, or remember we were watching a, a movie the other night. It was about LBJ. And he said to his wife, uh, fix your, fix your lipstick. And it was really curt. And, uh, <laughs> And it just struck me funny, like the president of the United States is being so kind of rude to his wife. And ever since then, if you say yeah. anything, you like, just I catch laugh myself. And say, fix your lipstick. Yeah, I catch yeah. myself. And I go fix your lipstick. Yeah. So, but find some. Which humor is our in code, it. right? Then Absolutely. I know he he knows he knows what just happened. <laughs> I'm and acknowledging we're good. I'm yeah. being an idiot. So, yeah. But there you go. Our big tip is awareness and a little bit of humor goes a long way in cultivating kindness. Yeah.